Also, there are not tiers to the free speech to the First Amendment of the United States. There are not some that have more not have and some the that right have less. Your esteemed a journalistic institution has no special rights than me, the private American citizen. In this video, a Fox News host dismantles a Democratic strategist who wants to censor free speech after she became triggered by the Trump interview with Elon Musk. This is the Devore Darkens Show. So if you follow this channel, then obviously you love free speech. And the one thing that I'm sure me and you have in common is that I don't care if someone disagrees with me. I care that there is the right to free speech for people to say what they want to say. And it goes both ways. So in this video, we're going to take a look at Will Kane, who's a Fox News host. And for some reason, he had this Democratic strategist on. You know, they're going around trying to push the propaganda for Kamala Harris. And she cries foul over the interview with Elon Musk and Donald Trump. And during this dismantling of how she wants to censor free speech, let's just say Will Kane made her look really bad. Let's play the video. Democratic strategist Naomi Kant joins me now. Uh, no, Mickey, thanks for joining us tonight. So pretty much the entirety of social media, Facebook, TikTok, really the entirety of tech, Apple, Google, most of the media outside of Fox News, and all of the government bureaucracies adhere to one point of view, basically echo the views of the left. Why so afraid of one conversation between Elon Musk and Donald Trump? I think that could be fact-checked till the end of day, and I can't wait for the fact-checkers to come up with their response to that statement. Uh, Google itself fired their own bias investigator when uh, that woman, uh, a black woman, came forward and said that their algorithm was biased against women and people of color. And it's the same thing with Twitter. Twitter is not entitled to free speech. It's a private corporation, and it's whatever Elon Musk decides. The algorithm is not democratic. There are bots there. There are troll farms. The troll farms and the bots should not have the same rights as a citizen of the United States. Uh, these troll farms and bots boost people. Uh, Elon Musk decides to ban white dudes for Kamala Harris, but then he, he puts Alex Jones, who has been prosecuted in a court of law for disinformation, he lets him go back online and then boosts him. You know, this is not a marketplace of ideas. This is a not a democratic platform. If so, and if your ideas are better, then let's have a true democracy and debate them like you and I are right now, which is wonderful. But that's well, not how it goes with Elon Musk. It's his way or the highway. Now, Mickey, I welcome any fact checker that wants to try to challenge me on the idea that almost the entirety of every tech organization and every media enterprise is in the tank for the left. And it is news to me, the statement I that wish. you just made, I wish. that Twitter... <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and debunk that whole, oh, the media organizations are not left-leaning, please fact check this, because this has been recorded history, the numbers show it, the donations show it, and this is actually up-to-date as far as June 27th of 2024. Uh, and what this uh, is showing you right now is they review all of the articles from each of the news websites, and then they mark them, what side are they on? Is this more dem Democrat or is this more Republican? If we look at Huffington Post, The Guardian, CNN, USA Today, Washington Post, New York Times, I mean, it's just all left leaning. OK, I mean, I don't know what she was. I don't know where she was getting at saying that it's not true because it is. And then there's this, the political donations from the last election. Look how much Apple donated. Look how much Google donated. Amazon, Facebook, right? Universities. So I don't know where she was going with that. She probably needs to do her research before she comes on a news channel and starts to claim that the media is not biased and is not left-leaning. Um, and this is so obvious that Caitlin Collins from CNN was used as an example of this point. Let's take a look at that really quick. It, Bryce, it's kind of been this moment where he has not been able to cope on a single attack line. I know you guys are objective over there that you just report the news as it is. <laughs> Oh, I know. CNN makes a. I know. Is that supposed to be a laugh line? I wasn't supposed to be, but uh, I guess it is. Trump has kind of bro. been going Bro. Wow. Bro. Wow. Bro. Where he has not been able to coalesce around a single attack line. I know you guys are objective over there that you just report the news as it is. <laughs> oh, I know. CNN makes a. I know. Is that supposed to be a laugh line? I wasn't supposed to be, but uh, 
I guess it is. Yeah. See, I mean, it, even the audience knew that CNN is ultra biased. I mean, tell me what fact check she's done for the rallies from Kamala Harris. Tell me what fact checks they've been doing every time Biden speaks. There, there are none. Who's not going to be Elon gonna... Musk? Elon Musk, who well, endorsed who... Donald Trump, gave money to Donald Trump, and then gave a gave praise Donald Trump and his conspiracy theories. He gave a million people, at least as of yesterday, downs on free speech. Hold free speech rights. But for someone like you that wants to see more crackdowns on free speech, I guess like we've seen That's in the EU, <laughs> the question I would ask for you is, who's going to be the arbiter of the truth? Well, it's definitely gonna not going to be Elon gonna... Musk. Elon Musk, who well, endorsed who... Donald Trump, gave money to Donald Trump, and then gave a gave praise Donald Trump and his conspiracy theories. He gave a million people, at least as of yesterday, um, a, a platform to crazy conspiracy theories about the Congo Mickey, and immigration. You're confused. You're confused, confused because Elon Musk is not playing filter on who is and who is not able to give an, a point of view on Twitter. He's made it a free speech platform. That's not true. You were offering up the point of view that wants to suppress free speech. Oh, I think so. I'm asking you then, who are you nominating? Who are you nominating to be the all important overseer of what is true and what is not, and therefore what is free and what is not to be said? So facts are a real thing. We are on a news network. You have a news division. All of your journalists at Fox News have editors. They have a, a, a set of standards that they, journalistic standards that they have to go by. Are they always perfect? No, we're human, right? But Elon Musk, he has no oversight. He fired everybody who did fact checking and oversight. He, he doesn't, when, when there's incitement of violence, when there are threats against people, when there's terrorism, he doesn't have a division to oversee it. That is very different, especially with incitement of violence. Right. That is an exclusion to free speech. But even if so, if this were a journalistic platform, which it is not, it is a private corporation at the behest of Elon Musk, even if so, you keep saying that. You keep saying this thing about a, private corporations well, yes, versus a journalistic will tell you platform. Well, yes, any lawyer will that. There's a difference. Well, yes, I can it's a tell private you, corporation. As an attorney, I can tell you, Namiki, well, as you an attorney, the Constitution provides no extra free speech rights to something deemed a journalistic organization versus a private corporation. It also, there are not tiers to the free speech to the First Amendment of the United States. There are not some that have more not have and some the that right have less. Your esteemed journalistic institution has no special rights than me, the private American citizen. So you know the whole fire drill in a movie theater thing? It's the same thing for Twitter. If you go in and you incite violence on a true, private though. corporation, you are you do not have those same rights, and that is what the EU deemed. Yeah, she's absolutely a joke. A couple points. Number one, what you'll notice with these democratic puppets is they they want it both ways. They want to use free speech in a way that benefits them, but when free speech does not benefit them, they want to suppress it. And we know this to be true because if, if you've been conservative and you've been on social media and you've been posting things, some of the stuff has been obviously removed. You probably have left comments in the YouTube sec in, in the YouTube comment section, and those have been removed. You probably were banned off Instagram before or Facebook. I mean, even before Elon Musk bought Twitter, there's plenty of people who were censored, especially around the 2020 election. So her coming on and trying to make this argument that this interview between Elon Musk and President Trump uh, is inciting violence and it's wrong and it should be censored and it should there should be an oversight committee. Where is the oversight committee for all of the things that the Democrats have done and coerce the social media companies to censor conservatives and people who support Trump? Where is your standard when it comes to that? She's just a walking contradiction. Let's continue. Today, Joe Biden put out the fact-checked and, and proven lie that Donald Trump called Nazis very fine people. It's a hoax, it's a lie, it has been proven, it's Snopes, which has come out in the last couple months said, that is absolutely not true. He did not call Nazis very fine people. Not only Joe Biden, but Kamala Harris put that out today. So my question for you is, should they now be deplatformed? He, he called the people the Proud Boys, which is what I think they were referring to as Nazis, as very fine people. So let's make that very clear. His words uh, were literally been, this. No, on Namiki, the anniversary of Heather Heyer's I'm death. I'm not talking about the white supremacists or the Nazis. His li words were literally, as I just quoted, I am not talking about the white supremacists or the Nazis. He said those exact words. He was talking words. about the Proud Boys, but we see them as the same people. So I would, you know, you trust the FBI. I hope you do. Didn't even mention do you trust Proud the CIA? Boys. That's do you, you trust reading your that in. Do you, do you trust the NYPD in New York? I mean, these are the folks who are there to investigate threats of violence. If you get in the mail, 
If you get a phone call, a threatening phone call, they investigate phone calls. Uh, it, you know, the FBI looks into terrorist attacks. So why can't you do that on Twitter? The tech companies have okay. an obligation right. to oversee this. Well, then, in that, according to that standard, both Kamala Harris's campaign and Joe Biden should be kicked off social media platforms <laughs> no, today Elon Musk should for be. that misinformation. He owns it. I'm sorry to break that news to you, the Mickey. OK, thank, thank you, you for the conversation. Yeah. Do you, do you see that? They don't want to censor or hold uh, Kamala Harris and her campaign accountable for misinformation, for the lies that she continues to spread on the X platform. Uh, they also are not going to hold her accountable for the manipulation of Google advertising where they are misleading readers about how positive things are because she is running for president. Uh, they don't want to do any of that. What they want to do is look at President Trump and say, hey, you know what? We don't want you to speak out. We don't want to hear you. We don't want anybody else to hear you. And so we're going to make up whatever lies we can to suppress you and make sure people cannot see what the truth really is. We're getting to a point where more and more people are standing up to this. And right now, there is a X account that was started to fact check Kamala Harris's campaign account. And it looks like this. OK, so here it is. Kamala HQ uh, is the Kamala Harris campaign's uh, Twitter account. They have 1.2 million followers. And uh, what they're doing is they'll clip uh, President Trump and then they will edit the video to make him look like he said something very bad. And then so what Kamala HQ lies is doing is pretty much uh, fact checking them and posting the original video. Um, and so this is what's going on on the X platform right now. But listen, as I said, she doesn't want to hold them accountable for doing things like that. So as I wrap up, I mean, free speech is everything. If we don't have that, we have nothing. So we have to continue to stand up for it. We have to continue to call out these individuals who are trying to attack it. And if we don't, we could end up like the UK and what they have going on, where if you disagree with someone on social media and you criticize the police, they will come to your door, they will arrest you and lock you up. That's literally where they're at right now. That is my mindset. What about you? What do you guys think about this uh, puppet that went on there and tried to cry foul over the Trump and Elon Musk interview? claiming that she thought it should have been censored and that there needs to be an, an oversight committee, uh, which just sounds like a classical liberal who wants to expand the government and control everything. I want to hear what your thoughts are and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Stay grateful, stay focused, and stay true. Peace.